The Silo Estate in Beverly Hills, which is pictured here, has been completely rebuilt since the Manson murders. Dreamed up by some of the world's leading architects, these sprawling homes were once home to the rich and powerful, until unimaginable horror struck. This week, a luxury hilltop mansion in Beverly Hills, California turned heads after it was put up on the market for $85 million. This stunning property looks straight out of Netflix's Selling Sunset, but harbors a very dark secret, sitting on the same lot where the grisly Manson family murders took place place in 1969. While the original house was demolished following the murders of pregnant actress Sharon Tate, Abigail Folger, Jay Sebring, and others, homes across the world have been left to rot after witnessing bone-chilling crimes. Here we reveal the shocking stories behind the multi-million dollar houses that nobody wants to live in. These are abandoned mansions with a very dark past. Up first we have Los Feliz Murder Mansion. Dr. Harold Purilson was a successful physician with a wife and three children. When he moved into a Spanish-style mansion in the sought-after area, Los Feliz neighborhood in Los Angeles. But on the night of December 6, 1959, at 4.30 a.m., Pearlson bludgeoned his sleeping wife, Lillian, who was 42, to death with a hammer before attempting to murder his three kids. After killing Linda, he walked calmly into his 18-year-old daughter Judy's room and attempted to smash her skull. Unlike her mother, Judy screamed after the first blow, loud enough to wake her younger brother and sister Debbie and Joel. Pearlson told Debbie to go back to sleep, saying she was having a nightmare, but in the chaos, Judy managed to escape and alert the neighbors who then called the police. Police found the young teenager waiting, unharmed in the lobby, and Pearlson lying dead beside his blood-soaked wife, having overdosed. Two years after the murder-suicide, the house was sold to a couple named Julian and Emily who never moved in. Their son Rudy inherited the property in 1984, but told LA Times in 2009, I don't know that I even want to live here or even stay here, adding that he used it for storage. Those who were brave enough to peek inside the house, estimated to be worth $2.5 million, a household stuck in the 1950s, complete with the original TV and Christmas presents, brightly wrapped and left untouched ever since. The house was recently cleared before being put on the market. Up next, we have Amber Crombie and Fitch's designer $4 million castle. When David Abercrombie, founder of Abercrombie and Fitch, built a castle in New York State, he and his wife Lucy named it Elda Castle, after their four children, Elizabeth, Lucy, David, and Abbott. But the family home, which sits on 49 acres of land and boasted 25 rooms, including serving quarters, would become blighted with tragedy. A year after its completion in 1928, the couple's daughter Lucy died in a chemical explosion at her father's nearby factory. In 1931, at the age of 64, David Sr. died and six years later, David Jr. was killed in an accident. After her husband died, Lucy went to live with the oldest daughter, Elizabeth, in New Jersey until her own death in 1955. Elda Castle sat completely empty for years and was attacked by vandals who poured paint on the marble floors and set fire to all different parts of the building. It was eventually sold in 2009 for $4 million. Up next is Villa de Vecchi, which is known as the most haunted house in all of Italy. Known as the House of Witches, the imposing Villa de Vici near Lake Como in Italy dates back to 1854 to 1857. Built as a summer house for Count Felix de Vici and his family, the stunning villa boasted priceless wall frescoes and 13,000 acres of land. But five years after it was completed in 1862, the Count came home to discover his wife had been brutally murdered and his daughter was missing. He spent a whole year searching for his daughter, but in despair, he took his own life. His brother lived in the house until the First World War, but then it was left empty. An attempt to sell the house in the 1960s failed, partly due to its reputation as Italy's most haunted house. In 2002, an avalanche destroyed all the houses in the area, but the villa remained standing. As you can see, a lot of these rooms were very tall ceilings and a ton of detail, and still just remain vacant till this day. It's sad to see that this place just still sits here with nothing really happening to it and no future plans. Up next we have the Cheshire Mansion. A five-bedroom mansion in the most affluent part of Cheshire is a spacious Victorian home set on over two acres. But this former home of lawyer Christopher Lumsden sat vacant for over a decade after he killed his wife in the master bedroom. Lumsden stabbed 53-year-old wife Allison over 30 times in the face and neck in 2006 
after she told him she was leaving him for a family friend. After pleading guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility, he served just two and a half years in jail. The house was bought by a property developer in 2007, but buyers were put off by its grim past. It is now believed the house has been renovated and is up for sale for $4 million. Up next is the Long Drive property on Bishop's Avenue in London. The most notorious empty mansions are those in what's known as London's Billionaire's Row mainly owned by foreign investors who leave them empty as the price soars. But Bishop's Avenue, where the average house price is $10 million, has seen its fair share of drama, with a murder, squatter, and pedophile cult all in its history. In the 1970s, Kingsden, one of the mansions of the Hampstead Street, was a commune for children of God, who later became the Family International, squatting there after a property developer supporter went bust then allegedly ran a rental TV scam from the property, but other activities within the cult were far more sinister. This right here is the picture of millionaire fashion designer Aristos Constantino, who was killed when returned to his luxury home after a party with his wife. Founder David Berg even ran a pedophile ring out of there, making young girls sleep with different men every night and sent teenagers to go recruit new members. Boys including the late star River Phoenix were reportedly abused from just the age of four. In 1984, nearby Heath Lodge, 40-year-old Greek fashion mogul Aristos Constano was shot with six silver bullets in the family chapel. Wife Elena claimed the couple had been ambushed by raiders after returning home from a New Year's Eve party and that she escaped out of a bathroom window. Constano paid $537,000 for the property shortly before his death and now it's estimated to be worth $8.9 million. Up next is the Taiwan Ghost House. This family mansion in Taiwan had been abandoned since the 1950s when the wealthy family fled abruptly. Local legend has it that the family's maid was having a secret affair with her employer Lu Rong Yu. When rumors got out and spread, Lu's wife found out about the romance. The maid was consumed by shame and jumped down a well. Some claim the family fled after the ghost of the girl came back every night to haunt them. A few years later, the property was occupied by members of the Chinese political party, the KMT, who fled to Taiwan to escape persecution. Many were said to have taken their lives at this property, just adding to its spooky reputation. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Like I mentioned in the beginning, follow all my social media and also 50% of the people who watch me don't subscribe so just if you're watching just click the subscribe button it's free it means a lot and then an alternative option would be to become a member which costs a couple dollars but then you know I'll be calling you guys facetiming you guys you get cool badges you get exclusive videos um, I'll be making videos that I can't show on my public channel so you guys get a ton of cool features and by clicking here and becoming a member and I'll see you in the next video later